fought, finished, faith. In order to fight, finish, and keep the faith, it is important that mere beliefs become firm convictions. One must learn to stand alone amidst the gale-forced winds of compromise and the confusion that is so rife and prevalent in our day. This is not to say that it wasn't in Paul's day and even in every century past. The only thing is, we weren't living then. We are living now, in the nasty now and now. Obviously, no one wants to be an island unto himself or an obnoxious crank or even a cynical old man. However, sometimes we have to stand alone. Even when friends forsake or leave us behind in their wake, the disciples forsook our Lord a time or two and forgot what he had done in a miraculous manner. And I'm referring to Mark 14.50 and Mark 6.52. Paul laminated in 2 Timothy 4.16 that all men forsook him. Those are good examples to emulate in the battle alone that some surely will face, whether at home, church, school, or work. Strong Bible convictions that penetrate into the fiber of your life will take you farther and keep you firm in the faith once delivered to the saints. We cannot cave in. We must determine to overcome. Second Timothy 4, 7 and 8 says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Fought, finished faith. Have a blessed day.